everybody, I am back here with another video. This is the Sense of Days Gone By, my weekly warm wax review. There are, if you look in the video description, I will have timestamps of all the scents that I've melted. I feel like there are a lot of remelts in the video this week. Um, you guys probably, well, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of us do it. There's a scent that you really like. So you buy like multiples of it, but I was looking through this week and there's just a lot of them, maybe not a lot, but just more than normal seem to be remelt. So if you watch these series, if you watch these videos regularly, you may want to look down there and see if there's enough new stuff. I do want to start off here with kind of like a, like a bonus tart. And this is something that I got in a random um, act of kindness from somebody who watched my YouTube videos. And I believe she said she picked this up like locally. It is from the fragrance house and it is called magic potion soy wax mount. So I'm assuming this is 100% soy, and it was this, um, just a nice purple tart. I put it in my Glade warmer in my bathroom, and it had about like a solid medium throw. Just a really nice ambiance. I don't know what is in this one, but it's just kind of like slightly floral, and maybe has like a touch of lavender, just kind of soothing, like a very just soothing, calming, beautiful blend. And like I said, the performance was a medium throw, so I could smell it. It was just really nice. So thank you for sending me that. And that was really awesome, and I always like trying, like, you know, really local vendors. I'm going to document that one as well, so if I ever run across it again, I'll, I will have to buy some. Okay, the next one I want to discuss is a Life Deliberate Soap Company, and this one is in Buttered Maple Oats and Honey. These were, like, two uh, brain tarts, so I melted one brain at a time. <laughs> that just sounds weird. Once in the 24-watt hot plate, and then one in the Glade, and it had, like, a solid high throw. I could smell it and you know the um I don't know this one just has like a really nice comforting warm inviting like my home smells awesome it's just so it's just a nice comforting scent that is really the best way that I can describe it I really really do enjoy this one and it doesn't have even though it has honey in it it does not have like that really strong honey note that I do not like I think it's stronger on like the maple kind of scent but that one was a high throw both times that I melted it, so a pretty decent performer. The next couple ones I have here are all from BZ Tarts, and this this one here is in Fresh Baked Cookies. This is the first time I melted this one, and it was so, so, so good. Good throw. So, so very strong. Just an amazing cookie scent. To me, it mostly just smells kind of like maybe a mix between like a sugar cookie and maybe like an oatmeal cookie. I'm not exactly sure. I, I don't smell any chocolate in this or anything like that, but just a really good cookie bakery scent. Good performance. One of my favorites of the week. That one was very enjoyable. And then also going on with BZ Tarts. This next one here from BZ is in Pink Sugar Cookies. This one is a remelt. This time when I melted it, I thought it was more of like a high throw instead of a good throw, but I could still definitely smell it. it. I could smell it throughout my kitchen and a little bit in my living room, and it's just a really excellent pink sugar blend. I really adore BZ Tarts um, pink sugar blends. It's definitely a little bit stronger on the pink sugar than the sugar cookie, but together those two go really well together. And then the last one here from BZ Tarts, one of my favorites of the week, Pumpkin Caramel Swirl. I don't think I have a whole heck of a lot of this one, but this one, I, oh my goodness, I threw it on this Friday, this last Friday when I came home from work, and it was so strong. I absolutely just adore this one, and I couldn't wait for my husband to come home and smell this because I knew that this was something that he would really enjoy. I could smell the caramel in here pretty strongly, and I could smell the pumpkin still stronger on the caramel, and it is a very creamy pumpkin scent in here. I'm not smelling a whole lot of spice. It's just very, very creamy. It's a very smooth, like smooth, nice, calming, just really good scent. I absolutely adore that one. Now this next one here from Front Porch, this one is a remount for me. I've melted this one multiple times in Eucalyptus Spearmint. One of my favorite Eucalyptus Spearmints. I tend to enjoy it from all vendors, but this particular one from Front Porch, I seem to just absolutely love. It's just such a good, clean, minty spa scent. It's just great. You know, if you're, if you're in the mood for something like that, eucalyptus spearmint from any vendor, you almost can't go wrong. I put two grubbies in the Glade in the bathroom and then two in the bedroom on different days. It was a high to a good throw. When I melted this in the bathroom in the Glade, I had it on for about 10 hours. And even after 10 hours, it still was throwing. I could still smell it at probably like a medium to a medium high throw, somewhere in that area. So a good performer, one of my favorites of the week. That one always is. Now the next couple, uh, the next four here are from Rose Girls. This first one here is a sample, well it wasn't a sample, it was um, one of the ones I got in the sampler 
and cotton candy frosting smoothie. So I'm pretty sure this is cotton candy frosting and then vanilla smoothie, vanilla, marshmallow smoothie. So obviously it's a very, very sweet scent and it pretty much smells exactly what you think cotton candy frosting and marshmallow would smell like together, just very, very sweet. I put it in the 24 watt hot plate and it threw pretty decently. It was about a high throw. Like I said, just very sweet but definitely enjoyable. It's nothing that I would necessarily be like going out of my way to get like a pie in or anything like that because I, I like those notes but I like them with other things as well. Now this next one from Rose Girls was one of my favorites. Dunk My Donut Cup of Cake Noel. I've had this one for quite some time you can see since February and I just never reach for it. I don't know why but it's Dunk My Donut Chunks and Cup of Cake Chunks with Vanilla Bean Noel Overpour. This one smelled amazing and in this like um, package here there were two of the smaller chunks you guys like know from Rose Girl, sometimes you'll get like one big chunk or like just two smaller ones. So I melted, you know, a small chunk at a time and it hit those small chunks through incredibly well in my 24 watt hot plate in my kitchen and in my Glade in my entryway. I really struggle with my entryway warmer, you know, the Glade because I think it, you know, my entryway, it goes up like the two stories, you know what I mean? Like the upstairs like the stairs are kind of right around the front door so you guys can kind of understand what I mean so you there's a lot of like air to fill in the entryway and this one did the job I was upstairs in my loft and I could smell this so so strongly now I, I don't know exactly what is in dunk my donut um I mean obviously it sounds like a donut scent I don't know if it also has like a coffee scent in there I wasn't necessarily smelling coffee I don't like coffee and I love this one I love this one. You can smell the vanilla bean well. You can smell like that donut scent. And then you can also smell like the very sweet scent of the cup of cake. It's just, it's so, so, so good. This one, if next time I'm going to place an order, if I'm lucky enough to place an order the next time they open for customs, that one I want in like at least a pie of, or a two pound loaf. That one is really, really good. This next one here from Rose Girls is Earth Angel. And this one also had like two of the smaller size chunks in it. This one is Lavender, Sinfully Sweet Pops, and Vanilla Ice Cream. It is a really, really nice scent. I do enjoy it, and I definitely would not necessarily mind getting this in maybe like a, maybe a loaf or something like that. It is really, really good. You can definitely smell the lavender, I think, probably the strongest. Initially, I thought there was pink sugar in here because I was getting like that really sweet scent, but maybe that was coming from the Sinfully Sweet Pops. I don't know, but I do really like it. I put one chunk in the Glade in the be bedroom and one in the bathroom in the Glade. And it was like a medium to a high throw. I could definitely smell it, but it was not like one of those scents that was just like, you know, enveloping you in smell or overpowering. Not like that, but a medium to high throw. Definitely noticeable. I could smell it and I could enjoy it, but not like super duper strong. But yeah, that one is definitely like, I think, one pound loaf worthy, at least to me. Now this next one here, last one from Rose Curls. This one was one of my favorites of the week, Singing in the Rain. And I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. It is a secret Rose Girls blend. It's like spa and clean and fresh and I know I don't know it's just it's really really good I think I can smell some kind of floral in there I think it has like some kind of floral note and maybe some kind of like watery kind of note I'm not sure but it's really really good and I put this chunk on and I had it on last weekend during the day and in the evening when I went upstairs at like 6 to 7 ish p.m. it was still throwing pretty damn well so I think at that point it had been going for maybe 12 hours and still had a decent amount of scent left. So I really, really like this one. I know recently, Jenny, um, I'm in the round of Rose Girls orders that are being poured right now. And she very generously offered for, I think, up to five of your blends to be substituted out um, in your order. Just because, like, you know, the, the tad is getting a little bit longer. And that's that's the good way for people who maybe you're preferences change over the past couple of months or as like the holidays come up you got other scents on the brain and I did substitute out one of my pies for an, an entire pie and singing in the rain that was before I melted that one but it had enough good reviews from a lot of people that I and I had smelled it that I that I knew that that one was going to be a winner now the next one here is from Sassy Girl Aroma and I got this in a swap I did with somebody in the wax community holla and serendipity birthday I'm not a huge serendipity person, but I put this on in the Glade in the entryway because my husband does enjoy coconut scents, and he was walking around, and he said he could really smell the coconut, so he definitely enjoyed this one here, and I would call this one a high throw overall. Serendipity is something that, like, I melted a lot when I first got into wax, and I haven't melted as much of it. If you guys are newer to wax, serendipity is a blend, I think, with, like, coconut, cherry, 
and there's a couple other things in there but if you like those types of scents it's definitely a good blender with a lot of things but this was definitely a decent performer so thank you for that one you know who you are okay now the next one here is from starlet candles this one is a remount in crystal palace one of my favorites from starlet pink sugar snow taffy vanilla v noel peppermint and a hint of spearmint it's just such a good frosty scent and i think it's probably the strongest on the peppermint and then maybe the pink sugar is probably the next one that i can smell but i put three cubes in my glade in my bedroom and then three in the bathroom solid high throw i could smell it it also threw for a, a long time this one i had kept on overnight and in the morning i could still smell it so decent throw long throw one of my favorites of the week one of my favorites from starlet overall now this next one coming up here from super tarts is one of the ones from the fright night restock in jaws and this one did get voted back in her favorites restock the one that is no longer open but i think she's working on now and this one is a spa scent it's sea salt fresh air sea grass sliced plum and sweet pear it's definitely really nice and it does have a little bit of that darker scent i think because of the sliced plum so it doesn't have like really light fruit notes to me at least it has more of like a fruit note versus like a fruit note or <laughs> something like that it's but i really do like this one it's not i like it but i don't love it i think i prefer my spa scents with more like peach and nectarine for me are the ones that i tend to prefer but it's still definitely a good one and i know brandy absolutely loves this one in terms of throw this one was a high to a good throw i melted it in the 24 watt hot plate in my bedroom and then also in the Glade Warmer in my bathroom. This one also got melted overnight, and the next morning it was still throwing. It still had scent. So that one did pretty darn well. This next one up from Super Tarts is Strawberry Glazed Donuts. I really love Brandy's strawberry scents. I, I don't know what it is about them, but they just every time she has strawberry in anything, it just, to me, smells amazing. So this is a really good, very sweet kind of like glazed strawberry, well, strawberry glazed donuts, but definitely smells more like a strawberry jam or strawberry glaze, very, very sweet and sugary, along with the bakery donut scent. This one in my 24 watt hot plate in my kitchen was about a medium high. It's one of those scents that I could smell it when I was like looking for it or when I was in the kitchen, but I was like, I think I was playing Xbox with my husband. And one of those things that like when I'm playing Xbox and I'm focused on the Xbox, I don't even, I don't recall necessarily smelling it until I stopped and maybe took a break to come to the kitchen to get a glass of water and then I could smell it. Kind of one of those scents. So I would call that a medium to a high throw, but a really, really, really good scent. Next up from the bathing garden, this one is pomegranate lime sweet tart. And this one, she just calls it tart lime and pink pomegranate, sweet and tangy. And it, that, that is pretty much exactly what it smells like. Sweet and tangy. It does smell either like maybe an icy drink or the candy. Definitely something edible, I guess is what I would call it. Well, it's pomegranate and lime. Of course, it should be edible. Okay, so this one I melted, um, melted three cubes at a time, once in the 24-watt hot plate in the kitchen. When I was melting it in the kitchen, I was lying down on my couch. And, and sometimes when I'm lying down on my couch, I don't smell things as strongly. But like if I lift my head like above the back of the couch, I can smell it. But when I was lying down, I could smell it. So I was like, oh man, I'm like, that one must be throwing pretty damn, like damn well. So because I could smell it. But when I got up and I started moving around, for some reason, the throw just wasn't as strong as it seemed initially when I got that first like hit of scent from this one. So I'm going to call this one a medium throw overall because for the rest of the time it was melting, I had a harder time smelling it unless I left the room and then came back in and then I could smell it. It was like one of those, but it's a really nice scent. If it ever comes up again, I might grab like one more to just to try it out again to see if I can get like more of a high throw out of it, but it's not one of my favorites from the bathing garden, so I wouldn't go crazy for it. Um, the next one here, uh, my wax is falling all over the floor. The next one here is from the Spotted Hog, and I don't understand why she doesn't like to put the labels on here of what it's called. I mean, I, I you can see that this is over a year old now, but it was her Teddy Graham Whippet, which is her Honey Graham Cracker Supreme and Vanilla Frosting um, blended together in the Whippet. Really, really good scent. My husband really liked this one. Um, I put this one on on Friday in the entryway when he was coming home, and he came in and he could smell it. I could smell it from the loft, so I would say a high throw, which is pretty darn good for something that is a over a year old, so I was duly impressed with the quality of the wax. I just thought it was like a nice spicy bakery scent. I mean, it's it smells supposed to smell like a honey gram, and it, it does, so that's kind of what it is. <laughs> Nothing else I can say about that. Now, next up here from 30 Street Wax, this one is in 
Pocahontas. And this one she calls like soft and powdery with a modern vibrant, vibrant twist. And that is exactly what this smells like. It is powdery, but it's not too powdery. I know there's some people that see the word powder and they're kind of like, ooh, like, I don't know if that's for me. You may want to try it, even if you're not a huge person like that likes those kinds of scents, because this one is gorgeous. It is just downright gorgeous. Probably one of the most beautiful scents I have ever smelled. There were a couple people on her Facebook page the other day talking about this one, and I'm going to definitely vote for this one to come back in the next re She's restocking tonight, well, in a couple hours, I think, from now. And then she, the next restock in January is going to be like a customer voted back favorites, and I'm going to vote for this one. I don't remember if this one has already come back before. It might have. It's fairly popular. But I melted one cameo at a time. Each time it was about a medium to a high throw. So it's one of those that the scent is so amazing but I've never been able to get like a good throw from it, but that's fine because I can still smell it in my bedroom. I, I mean, I can smell it enough. It's so, so beautiful and it's it's kind of subtle when it's, when it's melting. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this one. I will continue to purchase that one again and again. And another bedroom scent here from 30 Street Crafts or 30 Street Wax. This one here is in Purple Castles which is um, lavender, vanilla, pink sugar, and then like marshmallows. This one is always, also just such a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Those go together so well, the pink sugar and the lavender. This one, I all, historically, I always get about a high throw out of this one. And that's pretty much what I got out of it this time. And maybe somewhere around a medium high to a high throw. I did melt the entire chunk in the 24 watt hot plate, which is a lot of wax. This one may do better if I just would make the effort to cut the chunk in half because the chunks are pretty generous sized. So maybe the next time I will try that to see if the throw will get a little better, but about a medium high to a high throw. And I really just enjoy this one. It's just a great blend of pink sugar and lavender. Can't complain. Really, really good. Now the last one here from 30 Street Waxes or 30 Street Waxes is another remelt for me in Queen Mab. This is just one of the really, the obviously a small sample tart. This is lavender, chamomile, lily of the valley, citrus powder, and African violet. Now, when I read the scent description initially, I wasn't sure what to expect because there's a lot of notes in there. But I would just say overall, this one always comes off to me like laundry is kind of just what it smells like. And it does have a powder scent in here, and I'm beginning to think that that's probably what I'm smelling. But it's just a really pretty laundry scent. I put this one on in the Glade in the bathroom and it was like a medium to a high throw. It scented my, my bathroom pretty darn well with this one little scent shot. So that was definitely a pretty decent performer and I do enjoy that scent. Next up here from Two Timing Tar. This one is in Pride and Prejudice. Another remote for me. This is one of my favorites from her. Linen, Amber, Sandalwood, and Musky Vanilla. Even though it has vanilla, it's just so woodsy and masculine smelling. It's sexy and deep. I love this one. You can smell the vanilla, but overall it just seems like sexy, I guess. So this one I put in the Glade in the bathroom and the bedroom, and it was like a high throw, so decent performer. I will always buy this one from Two Timing Tart, one of my favorites of the week. Now coming up here from Victoria's Designer Creations, this is Green Apple Jolly Rancher, and this smells exactly like a Green Apple Jolly Rancher. It smells like apple, but it's not like a fresh apple. It's definitely that like rock candy apple. And yeah, it that's exactly what it smells like. That's all I can say about it. So I put this scent shot in my 24 watt hot plate in the kitchen. It did pretty darn well. It was a good throw. I could smell it. My husband could smell it. While we were playing Xbox, I was smelling it. So this one was definitely a good performer. Um, I'm not sure if I like absolutely love this scent, but if, if you are in the mood for something that smells like a Jolly Rancher, then just... Look for this one from Victoria's Designer Creations. It's it's pretty darn good, and it is a good piece of wax. Coming to the end here with some Vintage Chic scents and a, one Yankee Candle, but starting off with the Vintage Chic scents, this one was a, I think it was like a flower tart, like a bigger flower tart, and Betty Page. This one is, let me see, what is this one? Uh, oh, Blonde Moment, Satsuma, and Vanilla Bay Noel. And when I was smelling this one on cold and on hot, it was mostly just vanilla, um, Blonde Moment, sorry. Blonde Moment. Blonde Moment is like a raspberry, ice raspberry, champagne kind of scent. It's a very distinctive scent once you get used to it, and it is so dominant in blends. I don't know what it is about that fragrance oil. It is just strong. So to be honest, I could not really smell Satsuma. I could not really smell Vanilla Bean Noel. Maybe I can smell Satsuma a little bit, but 
No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But yeah, definitely just mostly a blonde moment kind of blend. And I put this one in the 24 watt hot plate in my kitchen and it was like a high throw. I could smell it like very strongly throughout the kitchen, not as much in the living room. But yeah, if you like blonde moment, you might want to keep your eyes out for that one. The next one here from Vintage Chic Sense, this one is a remount for me. This is a clamshell in uh, Bogey and Bacall. This one I absolutely love. It's blue sugar and vanilla sandalwood. It's just kind of like masculine. And I don't know. It smells like blue sugar. If you guys like blue sugar, sorry, my scent descriptions this week kind of suck. I'm like, it's just, it's, it's blue sugar with that, you know, that vanilla scent in there. I'm not smelling as much sandalwood, but definitely more of the blue sugar. I put this in the 24 watt hot plate, three cubes of it in the bedroom, and then three cubes in the glade in the bathroom. And it was about a high throw both times that I melted it. So I will always continue to buy this one from Vintage Chic Scents whenever she restocks it. Now the next one up and the last one here from Vintage Chic Scents is a scent shot in Rosemary's Baby. This is Lavender Mint. This is one of her original scents, I think, that she had in her first restock. I put this in the Glade in the bathroom and it was more of like a medium to a high throw when I melted it. But it just smells absolutely amazing. And to me, it smells more herbal. It smells more like a nice herbal lavender than it does like a sweet creamy lavender. But that one is a good blend. And the last one here is from Yankee Candle. This is a remelt. I know I've got a lot of remelts. This is a remelt and Island Spa. It's mandarin and lemon verbena blended together. And it is just very, very bright. I can definitely smell the lemon verbena. To be honest, I don't know what like ver the verbena part is in lemon verbena. There's something in here that smells kind of green, kind of plantish green. So I don't know if, if lemon verbena is like some kind of plant smell with the lemon, whatever. I'm not really sure. But or is that a drink? I don't know. You guys can probably school me in the comments what lemon verbena actually is. But I put this one in the Glade in the bathroom and it was a medium throw. I did put this on before I went to bed. So it was one of those that it may have blossomed like throughout the night and it may have thrown better than a medium. But I can tell you by the time I woke up in the morning, there was no scent left, but I could smell it before I went to bed. Although I really didn't give it like a full chance to, you know, like really really get going or whatever but anyways you guys that is it that is the whole sense of days gone by can you guys believe that thanksgiving is in is uh two weeks from now less than two weeks from now for those of you in the united states that's crazy the holidays are almost here i do have my mother-in-law coming into town on friday i think so it, yeah she's coming into town on friday and um we have more of my husband's family coming into town for actual thanksgiving and my mother-in-law will be here for about two weeks. So I'm probably going to put up another video that's saying, hey, I'm going on a break. My mother-in-law knows that I do YouTube and I may film like a couple videos while she's here. Like maybe she goes to take a nap, but I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be able to get like warmer views or hauls or anything up in any kind of timely manner when she's here. So I'll probably put up a video about that later in the week. And I, I may try to do another sense of days gone by maybe on Thursday so I don't get overwhelmed with like a whole bunch of empties by the time I come back, but we'll have to see. But anyways, you guys, hey, get your Thanksgiving list going. I know I've got my whole big list of ingredients and veggies and stuff I gotta buy, you know, sometime here soon, <laughs> getting closer to Thanksgiving. I absolutely love fall and the holidays. I think we all do. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.